All right, let's see, guys. I think we are live. Let's see. All right, we are live. We should be good to go. Just need to grab the link here and put it into our Discord. So we'll do that right now. As we get started on this Sunday shorter live stream, we will have two winners, of course, from our Discord list. We've got Gujo in the house. Nice to have you here. Yo, yo, yo. Thank you for joining the live stream. We got John Jensen. Hello. Thank you for joining the live stream. A quick note, if you were a winner yesterday, I have not gotten around to all the messages yet. I will, I promise. Do not fret. Uh, today is, though, the last day of Hero Wars birthday event, I believe. So we're going to check that out a little bit here on this live and talk about, you know, the upcoming event and kind of what we want to do in general. And I think what, you know, most people should be trying to do in terms of this upcoming hero artifact event a great opportunity to pick up some nice rewards and improve your hero heroes right so it'll be a good little sesh here so nice and yes gujo you guys are all winners thank you guys for showing up to the stream just for being here and playing the game right with us um I would say you're a winner in my book, that's for sure. Hey, Prax, nice to have you here. Thank you for joining the live stream. We've got Anthony Smith in the house. Nice to have you here, Anthony. Thank you for joining the live stream. We've got Gary H., Francis Zegan. And Anthony is pointing out that today's mini game is on Chapter 13. Good place to start as any. Mini game. We're seeing some balloons. There it is. We start out with our sequence. And of course, you kind of just go one by one. I mean, obviously, you could make it more complex, but there's really no reason to do so. We just have two more. And look at that. We've got two of the same minions, and we've got a party box. So great stuff there. Obviously, the party box is a nice little reward, but it's not really that all that great. I, I enjoy the mini games a little bit more than I enjoy the boxes personally. All right, so we've got Helios here, and one of the things, that, one of the things I've noticed with my Helios is because of this new red upgrade, a lot of the um, improved Yasmins are surviving Helios's first round of attacks, which is you know, leaving him a little susceptible. So definitely someone I need to start working on a little bit more seriously. Um, I am planning on finishing out Polaris first um, in terms of artifacts and glyphs. But I will need to eventually get around to doing Helios. Yasmins are starting to run ramp rampant on my server. So definitely uh, something I have to keep an eye on. And I'm noticing that a lot of them are getting stronger, most likely because of the red artifact. It's kind of what I'm assuming, uh, just based on some of the changes. Also, if you were here yesterday, we did pick up the War of Decline, which I'm pretty stoked about. Going to be awesome to get that final flag as well. Clearly, I've dropped the ball on picking all these up, but um, I will get around to picking up all the flags, which will be awesome. For instance... Wait a day to spend energy, gold, emeralds for the overlap. Um, I'm trying to think Think here. I don't know. Oh, oh you're saying you wait until the next event starts, right? That makes sense. I, I like that. I will say um, for anything that is gold related, like you're mentioning, or energy related, I think that overlap makes a lot of sense. Uh, but if you're just going for upgrading uh, heroes using your items that you have saved up. I think you can go ahead and do that. I don't think that that will uh, be a big Im impediment um, for using these uh, different colored artifacts to upgrade your heroes. Um, but yes, I, I do think Francis makes a good point. You do want to potentially save some of your energy if you have them like stored up in your mail, right? You'd want to save that if you end up wanting to use it. Uh, save it for when there's an overlap in the events that will get you the most rewards Tanya nice to have you here 
thank you for joining the live stream. Praxis, the, uh, the boss, is the same team. Oh, very nice. Um, nice to have you here, Tanya. Thank you for joining the live stream. We've got Jimmy in the house as well. Yo, 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 Jimmy. Nice to have you here. Thank you for joining the live stream. Incognito is also here. Watch the replay. Saw John Jensen has a hold of the lucky rabbit's foot. Yeah, he is on a roll, which, I mean, good for him, right? You know, everyone has their streaks, and he is on a hot streak right now. So, yes, very, very nice. So, currently, um, what I've been working on here is I've been working on Martha's first artifact, um, I've also been working on Astaroth's second artifact, uh, but primarily going to worry about finishing off Kark here in the interim, right? We do have the upcoming uh, hero artifact event, so just something to keep in mind. Um, and you want to try to save. If you picked up some of these uh, flawless artifact chests, you're going to want to hold on to those because those will be very, very useful to try to break down and use for the upcoming event. Here, right, we do have the Arch Demon event. Let's take a quick look at what they're kind of doing here. It looks like it's really a very similar team here. They're using uh, Aiden, I guess, is the only uh, difference that I noticed from yesterday, maybe. Um, I'm thinking that, what, they used Nebula. They used, uh, I want to say Thea as well. Who they used? They used, nope, they used Peppy. Nebula, Julius. So the, the 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 difference here is they used Sebastian, Aiden, Peppy as the back three. Sebastian, Sebastian, Peppy, and Aiden, and we've got Julius in there as well. So this is the team I guess that they are promoting. We're gonna use Albus here as an R as our pet attacker um, we can keep Oliver there Kane's the only option we can keep that as well let's see Aiden probably gonna want someone different let's put chorus there instead of Albus and uh, we're gonna go ahead and deal some damage here we should be able to deal a fair amount which should allow us if we don't get 300 or 300 mil in one fight which I think we might be able to uh, but if not uh, we should be able to do it pretty easily within three fights maybe even less but yes just to make justin jealous having fried catfish with creamy cheese grits tonight that sounds very very good prax yes i am always uh jealous of different uh foods that people are having it always sounds so good especially when i have to like i have to think of the labor that i would have to do to uh put that kind of a meal together i'm like oh man don't think I could do it. So, yeah, no, that, that sounds good, Prax. It sounds like you're going to be eating very well, which we love to have. Um, Let's see here. John says, I didn't win on Sunday last week. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens. Tonya says, have you figured out how to do your flags? I watched your last show, and you had all kinds of trouble with flags. Yeah, I think I have a better idea of what I'm doing uh, with some flags, Tonya. I will say... Still very new to flags. I'm not like an expert on flags. It is probably one of my weakest points in Hero Wars. But I'm sure that um, I feel like I have a little bit more of a stronger knowledge base now uh, that I have, um, you know, kind of worked through that, if you will. So, yeah. Hey, Myron. Nice to have you here. Thank you for joining our live stream as we are claiming our eighth birthday cake rewards here really can't go wrong gonna be holding on to all these rewards and we are getting some more absolute artifact chests which are gonna be great for the upcoming artifact event that starts i believe tonight um should be at the latest tomorrow but yes we will be seeing that event very very soon got some nice chaos particle here chaos particles here as well which will be great because we get to look at our awesome pet vex who we are currently working with here Trying to get him all snazzed out. Let's see. Here's Vex. Um, I'm actually just going to get this last uh, little gemstone for him here. Even though it does eat into my Chaos Particle um, amount. But I don't think it's a huge deal. We're going to pick up some more here. And this should still help us out. Getting him a bit stronger. Right? We do ultimately want to get him up to that 6-star absolute section. 
going to take a little bit of work. We're going to start. I'm just going to do 10 openings here just because I do want to try to get a couple more Vex Soulstone. So we'll just we'll stop right there. But we do have this adventure complete. So I will go ahead and rate it one. Uh, we're going to rate it twice at least. I'm thinking I might rate it up to three times um, because I don't think it's typically a required task in the artifact event. If it is, well, then you know what? I do still have some portal charges saved in my mail, I believe. So we should be okay if that is still something that comes up. And we've got 12 eggs that'll recover or replace the 10 that we just spent. So can't go wrong. Good stuff there. We will go back to Vex here though. And we're gonna try to upgrade a little bit here. So we're gonna get this portal up to level 16 out of 50, I believe. So still a long ways to go, but a great starting point for Vex, who I really, really like um, when I pair with my Kark. I haven't seen too many better combinations with Kark in the pet world. So we're gonna be very, very solid there. Uh, Tanya likes putting Chorus on Aiden. Yes, I think we did do that. So I like that. Tonya says she has all her flags to red, so she's been going all in on flags. So she's an expert. Um, so yeah, if you need some help, Tonya might be able to help you with red flags and comments. She seems to know her stuff there. Uh, let's see. Anthony says, you should have had Albus on Seb and Team Pet Oliver. Oh, I could have done that. That, that would have been a good option as well. Gujo says, Mr. John Jensen is co on complete fire. The picker wheel is in love with him, which is amazing. Yeah, it is. It definitely is enamored with him. That is to say the least. Um, all right. So we're going to close out of our pets here. Pretty solid showing there. We did get some upgrades, which is nice. We got 201 energy, though. So we're going to go ahead and try to go to Polaris. And see what we can do to upgrade. Maybe uh, we will go for some Lamort cards. We're going to need at least two of them. So going to be a long road there. But it is a start. And we do have some Nature Seasons we got to look at. So quests. We did some of those. We need to spend some Tower Coins. So spending Tower Coins is pretty easy. Just have to pick the items I want. I'm going to pick the Enchanted Loot even though it doesn't require fulfill our request um we will pick up the all seeing eye recipe that will be 500 coins spent uh let's see here what else we got going on here during this march madness we're going to pick up the piercing gaze quality item there we're going to pick up cornelius and faceless as we always do as i really typically always do to trade in the soul shop even if it doesn't recover a whole lot it does still do something we're going to pick up the dragon shield as well key to all doors i'm going to hold off right this second um, as I am also working on Iris occasionally. So we're looking there. We're looking here. I think we're chilling. We will pick up the Radiant Armor recipes, though. Those can always be helpful. We do need to also deal some damage with a Marksman Hero in Arena. So Marksman Heroes that I can think of off the top of my head include Jew. So I don't think Kark is a warrior, I believe, and doesn't count as a Marksman. So this will be a little bit intriguing. Um, I want to avoid teams that have Martha if I can. This looks like it. If it's the bill, that's not my guild. So we should be okay to try to attack. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and go Martha, Neb, Sebastian, Jew. And I kind of want to have one other hero here. But I'm trying to debate who I want. Could be Cleaver. Right? Would get rid of Jed a lot sooner, which would be nice. I'm trying to think if that is the best possible tank option for me right now. Part of me says yes. Part of me says no. Let's see. So physical attack damage and gives me armor, which is great. Oh, we got Martha there. I'm tempted to almost put Faceless in here instead and see how this turns out. Let's see. So can we do... So Fenris, the armor penetration is better here. The physical attack is better on my Vex currently. I am tempted to go Vex. We're going to go Vex. Uh, let's see, we do have Albus on here. But I like the idea of having Fenris here as well. I could have also done Yasmin instead of Faceless. Yasmin's good against Ching Mao. We're going to do Yasmin. Game plan change we're gonna put Kane here 
who no who else can we put we can put Fenris and we'll give Seb Albus and we will put Kane back there all right we'll see if my Yasmin can survive long enough but assuming she can we'll go John's suggesting Isaac maybe I should have gotten Isaac here um, because there are three magic uh, attackers in the back but I kind of want to see I haven't used Yasmin as a mainstay in a in a like ever so I'm gonna try to use her to see if she can deal some damage she might get taken out really fast like she did there but that's okay Jews holding out but ugh, a little ugly hopefully you dealt some damage and hopefully we get some credit for that let's see I'm not really um too heavy of a support team builder around anyone other than my Kark and Yasmin being completely honest um eventually I will but currently I just don't have enough resources and that that'll complete our marksman task there so we don't need to use that team again um, but it is it is pretty uh, difficult so completing a hundred summons in the summoning circle i'm gonna wait until we look at some other events before i start opening any summoning circle spheres right now uh, but that is going to be a pretty daunting when i say daunting it's a it's a lot it's a lot that we need to go through there um, but overall it should propel us a little bit further i should be able to easily i think uh, end up picking up this level 37 um, move right in the map that should be pretty straightforward obviously the, if you have the um, upper golden ticket active you should be pretty close to finishing this out um, it, it, it does add up over time how much I'm missing on the XP here from this golden daily quest um, and it does, you know, obviously progress you a lot further. So you should be pretty close to getting uh, complete here in the next day or so um, if you've been doing this nature season and you had the ticket unlocked pretty early. So it should be pretty doable there. Um, yes. And Papa John sounds pretty dang good. Uh, Incognito, I don't think anyone is not jealous. I think Papa John's is a great pizza. Um, yeah, I would get it. If, if, if it was closer to me, I would get Papa John's. That sounds great. Obviously not as classy as Prax, but hey, still. <laughs> Are we due for a Demon Doll event, Myron? Um, I don't know if we'll see a Demon Doll event too soon. I do think we will see one before the end of the month. Oh, with March almost being done this month. I don't see it happening uh, before we have the three upcoming events that have been announced, Myron. So we do know that the upcoming events are going to be the following. We know we're getting Legacy of the Great Ones, which starts for me, I believe, tonight. Weaving Patterns, right, will start a day into the Legacy of the Great Ones event, which is why um, I believe John was pointing out that we should hold off on using too many resources on the first day of the event. If it's not John, it was someone else. I apologize. Um, but yes, because you can see here, there is a one day delay. So you can kind of get both, you know, rewards or resources counting towards both of these events. If you wait after that, we'll have the spring rebirth event, which is pretty sweet. If we're going to have a demon doll event, it will be after spring rebirth. I don't see us having anything in between these events that would break up. Um, kind of the upcoming events for the month of March. So it's not going to happen in March. If we have it, it will be early next month, Myron. Um, it'll be more of a cool down event than anything. So I don't see it happening too soon, but it could be something that we see in the near future. Um, all right, let's see. John said, Encarnito, I am jealous that Papa John's we have here. Closed about seven years ago, and they were my favorite pizza place. Yeah, I will say, I'm trying to think. The closest pizza place to me currently, mm, it's either Domino's or Little Caesars. Those are the only two pizza places I can think of that are like near me that I have easy access to currently. Um, yeah, there's no Papa John's anywhere near me right now. So um, I hear what you're saying. Praxis. <laughs> If I want to eat, I got to cook it. The wife is working. I hear you. I hear you. John says, uh, oh, yeah. So Tanya says, when you max out Vex, his slashes are awesome in Grain Arena and Arena. I like his slashes already. So I can I can definitely picture his slashes down the line being extremely beneficial for um, my team in particular. I already love him and the boost that he provides. 
So I, I really can't wait to uh, get to delve into that a little bit more and use him um, as my main pet. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, let's see, Jew here though. We're getting close to getting that uh, Masquerade skin absolute, which will be great because it will help out with Jew survivability in battling against Osh. He just Osh is a monster, man. Especially at those higher level 160 levels, um, he's tough. So I'm also going to work on Yasmin a little bit here. I do have some Dodge skin and armor skin to work on, so we'll do that here. Uh, obviously, Nebula has something similar. Uh, Faceless needs a little bit more armor. We're not going to go crazy there, but we do have some work to be done. Masquerade skin will give us some more uh, help with Martha. Martha, right? Good, good, great, great healer. But she does need her own stats to be boosted. Looking at health specifically, I'm going to need to work on that. And uh, I am getting closer, though. I'm excited about this. It's going to take a little bit of time, but we are getting closer to getting Ascension working for her. And my support heroes. Oh, that's kind of the wrong spot. But in the Great Tree of Wisdom, I'm getting really close to getting enough to upgrade my support branch, which... You know, once I get that done, that'll be too maxed out. And I'm going to be looking at that tank roll branch. Um, it, it's going to be good days. I'm, I'm looking forward to finally getting just enough eternal seeds to move in past that. Uh, if you will, I would call it a roadblock. It just feels like there's so many, so many eternal seeds that you need. <laughs> um, all right. Sorry, I'm not trying to miss too many comments here. Let's see. Let's see. By the way, PA12 today had a lot of Rufus's. Yeah, Rufus is uh, not anyone's friend in pet adventures, especially when you have those debuffs that are based on physical attack. It's like, you're already hampering me with um, <laughs> forcing me to use physical attackers to take down Rufus, but now you're going to, you know, essentially pigeonhole me into not allowing me to use what heroes I want because now the physical buff is also now um, debuff is now in place just an annoyance overall that can be annoying <laughs> for sure uh, Gujo appreciates how many soul shop coins I've got yeah we've, I've got some I've got a decent amount stored up I'm not gonna lie about that definitely have those stored up and any uh, rem, you know run over or remaining uh, chaos cores from, or not chaos cores chaos particles for me are currently going to chorus trying to get him into purple he really should be purple already but i've been focused on so many different um pets here that's why i have a bunch of pets into purple plus two as to as opposed to just three pets into purple plus three i was working on fenris and then vex came in so i was almost to the point where fenris was getting close to getting well I say close to getting done. He really wasn't that close, but I got him up to purple plus two. And then I started on Vex. So it's just been a lot of uh, chaos particle dispersing of, <laughs> of resources. So slowly getting there, slowly getting there. Guild Island Merchant. We do have some items to trade in here. I'm going to trade in half for Titan Potions and the rest for gold. Obviously, I need gold in general. But uh, I am trying to also finish off all of my Titans into Absolute. So if I have a Titan event where we need to upgrade, I won't have to worry about it. At least that's currently the game plan. Um, I do have, let's see. So I have Kiros complete in terms of level 120, 120, 120. So Brewster, Amon, Mort, Iari, and Rigel. Um, I would really like to finish off <clears throat> my two tanks. But currently, I think Amon will probably be the one that I get to level 120 first, just because he's already higher level, it's more work. So I'll probably do that because he's closer. So that'll probably be a current uh, game plan for me. Hopefully you guys already have your <laughs> um, super tight or all your light and dark times all leveled out. I currently don't, but hopefully you guys do so you don't have to struggle like I am with getting these guys stronger. It is not the most fun. <laughs> we will also look at skins though here um there are a lot of skins to look at 
I actually really like Kiros as a Dark Titan, but there's just so much work to do. Leveling up Tenebris one time, probably not the smartest move there. Should we just wait for a Titan event to upgrade, so don't recommend doing that in general. Soul Atrium, we have to collect our daily, what are these called again? I almost called it an Eternal Seed, that is not right. It is the Soul Crystal, that's right, the Soul Crystal. Obviously, I'd like to pull some of these grand prizes, but we're pretty far off. So we'll get there. But anyway, Outland coin or Outland. Let's get some Outland coins and open up these chests. Got to do that. And yes, I do have to work on my chorus. I know, I know. He's he's super weak. He's not even playable really as a booster for any of my uh, current heroes. So I got I got to work on chorus a little bit. But I do. I I just want to finish Vex first. I really like Vex. What can I say? Um. Jay finally got Valkyrie's favor. I do have Valkyrie's favor, <laughs> Anthony. Although I don't love, I, I just, I, I don't love spending. But yes, I do currently have Valkyrie's favor active. So that is, that is, that is helpful. I'll put it that way. That's for sure. Um, yes, I, I went probably like three or four months without it. And it was, so it's, it's a noticeable difference when you don't have it. You're like, man, I'm progressing very slowly. But yeah, no, definitely have Valkyrie's favor currently active for myself all right so we've got that going artifacts again i'm gonna stop looking because i'm gonna be tempted to upgrade something if i look too much at the artifact section in the airship although wait expeditions did we have we we, we ramped everything up again okay good that is all set fantastic so we've got that going um i am going to do our tower run here and then what i'm going to try to do is I'm going to try before we get to our official picker wheel and have our winners for today's shorter stream. It is Sunday, and I know a lot of you guys are watching March Madness. It is an all March Madness day. A lot of people are really into March Madness, and I don't want to take people away from that. But um, what I'll do is I will open my... Or what I'm hoping to do is open up one chest on hero wars mobile and share that with you guys because i'm getting really close to my free pull of cleaver which is why i wanted to show it on stream just in case right we might get a little streamer's luck we might just pull nothing but we might we might get something so we're gonna see if we can pull a cleaver on my hero wars mobile free account it might take a long it might um, we might not be there but we're gonna we're gonna try to pull it we're getting close to the payout for the uh, grand rewards. So we're going to go ahead and pop open that Hero Wars mobile after we open up the picker wheel. And we'll make sure a bunch of people are on the list. Spheres overlap with the threat event. So don't open your summoning spheres, I believe is kind of what Francis is pointing out here. So yeah, keep that in mind. You don't want to spend too many of your um, items and wait for the overlapping threat event which happens one day so 24 hours after the start of the upcoming artifact event so just focus on just the artifact section of your heroes when that event starts because you have one day later we're going to have overlapping op an overlapping opportunity all right so there we go we've completed everything we need to do on hero wars facebook we're going to close out of this entirely we're going to open up our picker wheel here picker wheel and i'm just going to show you guys who is on the list i mean obviously i just did it off of the discord list if you're not on there because you're not on discord and you are at the live stream i will give you an opportunity to get added to the list if you don't see yourself already on there let's just double check though i'm going to show you guys who we have for the facebook side of things we've got anthony smith chicken gary h ray viking randy johnny j prax andro MHD, HD Dragon, Joe Rock, Taipan, Justin Gilby, and MM. On the web side of things, we have Anthony, Riddler, Vitamin, Juan, Mildman, Small, Rio, Lawrence, Boro, Tanya, Jimmy, T Team Frank, Daddy Do, and obviously Tanya's bonus, Arija, Guzil, Traverser, Mojo, Frank Z, Johnny J, Maverick, and Andro with Vikings following up. So we do have all of those guys on the list if you're not on there and you are a facebook or web player let me know and i'll add you to the proper list 
uh, we are going to be running these lists for one more weekend, right? Obviously, I'm trying to think, does Sunday for next week start into the next month? And if even if it does, we're going to probably use the same list. It does not. There's 31 days in March. Probably should have known that, but I, I always check the calendar. Just double check. Don't want to say the wrong thing, but yes. Okay, so there's that. Um, Tanya says she's on level 63 of the golden ticket. So she's progressing very, very nicely. Very nicely. Uh, let's see. What happens to your daily rewards when you have every hero maxed to 130 and skins maxed out? I got four left. All are at level 120 and two skins left. Wow, Prax, you're going to have to let me know because I don't know how that works. Uh, maybe you get, I think, I feel like what I've been told is all of them are marked complete already. But again, don't shoot the messenger. I'm not 100% sure. When that happens, though, Prax, let me know. I'd be more than happy to let me know. I'd love to hear more about it. Gudu says he has a he makes homemade pizza. Wow. That's pretty dang cool, Gujo. You're going to have to hook me up eventually with a uh, uh, homemade uh, pizza oven or something. You got to tell me how you're doing it. You're going to have to inform me because I, I definitely uh, would not mind making some homemade pizza. You'll get your dailies automatically when a new day starts. Just need to collect, Gujo says, as uh, kind, of, kind of what I said it, but I'm glad Gujo's confirming that. And he says, I would get Chorus to Violet so he can be used for patronage skills with your heroes. That's probably a good call. Anthony definitely should do that. Tony says, you should max Vex, Chorus, Axel, and Albus. Those are all great pets. I mean, I hear that. And she says to work on Oliver after that. So I like that. That's a good approach and definitely something I'm probably going to might might follow that list, Tonya. That's for sure. Um, all right. Let me see if I can mirror my Hero Wars mobile here. Let's see here if we can just get this guy open. Let's see. Can we mirror my phone? I feel like it should be very, very doable. I'm actually going to look it up. <laughs> um, how to mirror my phone. I feel like I've done this many times and I just can't remember. Oh, it's on my iPhone, that's why. So I mirror from my phone to my computer. Ha ha, all right. So there's that. Um, we're gonna have to skip through this ad real quick, apologies. But it's a free open. So Hero Wars Mobile has some free opens. You just have to watch an ad. So we're gonna watch this ad real quick, sadly. We're gonna get through it. So just gonna ignore what's on the screen here disregard no big deal you can see the green on the bottom indicates how long this ad is hopefully it's not too much longer so after this we will get a free open which is great but yeah definitely vex is going to be a top priority chorus will be next for sure my albus is max which is great axel is also max so don't need to worry about those two but yes vex chorus i mean that, those are gonna be pe uh, pets i need to work on and Oliver, I feel like, is definitely a, another very useful pet. So I'll definitely try to work on him. But uh, it's going to be a long, long trek there. Because Vex is like, you know, Vex just getting from plus 2 to plus 3 is already pretty, pretty chaos particle heavy. So going to be a lot of work there. But getting Chorus to purple, I think, in my opinion, is going to be a pretty high priority as well. Gujo says there's also a Hero Artifact event starting tonight on mobile. So that is good to know. Um, I will say I'm a little bit less in the know on Hero Wars mobile events because sometimes they just don't post it as openly, I feel like, as Facebook and web. He says you need some chaos cores. So yeah, we'll need some chaos cores there. Um, we got Lars. All right, we're going to do one more open here. And the reason I'm, I was doing this is you can see in the right here, right? So 383 opens. I'm 17 away from a guaranteed cleaver. Um, but, you know, you can you can potentially get him sooner. But not going to be today. All right. I'm going to get him eventually. But uh, we are 16 opens away. Obviously, I could do the um, you know, opening there by clicking that 1500 and spending some of our rewards or some of our emeralds that we have saved up. We're not going to do that this time. Um, all right. Let's see. I do have Kira as my main hero on this account. Um, so slowly working on her. She has a spring skin, which is pretty interesting to look at. Let's look at that real quick. Just want to show you the visual. She looks like she's sick. 
if I'm being completely honest. Like, she looks sick, but it's armor, and so it's very, very intriguing. Uh, this is a spring skin that I don't think we have on Facebook and web. Just wanted to point that out. So if you're a Kira user, rejoice. She will potentially be getting very stronger. And as Gujo points out, we will be having a Hero Wars artifact event for mobile. One of my favorite events for Hero Wars mobile because uh, on Hero Wars mobile, I don't know if you guys know this, but you do actually get free emeralds. Um, I believe it's a, like a hundred. You get a, you get a good amount of emeralds for playing Hero Wars mobile during the Hero Artifact event. And Gujo's pointing out that 213, if you have Valkyrie Favor, is a free little pickup item. So we'll do that right there. But anyway, all right, before we wrap up today's live stream, we're gonna have two winners, one for Facebook, one for web. We're gonna start with Facebook here and see who our lucky winners will be. Good luck to everybody. Let's see what we've got going on. All right, so for Facebook, our winner for today is going to be, it is Ray Johnston. Ray, congrats. You are our lucky Facebook winner for today. I'll be reaching out to you on Discord or reach out to me and let me know which reward you would like. We will get you hooked up. We've got one more winner for today. Obviously, we'll be using these lists again for next Sunday. For Saturday, I will probably be doing again who shows up the live. Um, and I'll probably make a video for the next month. But for March, right, we were just, ah, I didn't have time to get around to making the video. So maybe what I'll do is a every other month. I'm not going to lock that in yet, but we'll see what happens there. Let's see who our current web winner is going to be. It's going to be, it's going to be Tanya. I mean, their bonus and hers is right there. So it's going to be Tanya. Tanya, congratulations. You are our web winner. Please let me know which reward you would like. And I will shoot you that your way. Congratulations to our winners today. Ray and Tanya, you guys are our lucky winners. Congratulations. Um, not today, Anthony. We will be having more winners next weekend. Today or yesterday's was because it was the official birthday of Hero Wars, their eighth birthday. So crazy that Hero Wars has been around for eight years. If I do some math, let's see, 2024, 2016. So Hero Wars has been around since 2016. Congratulations to our winners. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here on this live stream. We've got Ray, who is our winner, and we've got Tanya. Tanya, feel free to let me know what you would like. And if not, I'll reach out to you on Discord. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here on this live stream. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, if you have any. And enjoy some of those delicious sounding foods. Have a great one, everyone. And Tanya, I will get you those skin stones. Have a